You, you know what I remember from that year? What? Uh, we're four games out. We battle all the way back. We're in mid-May. Mm-hmm. Now, our pitching coach, Dick Bosman, every time he'd come to the mound, he'd say basically the same thing. Ooh, tough situation. Use all your pitches. And Cal <laughs> would be so chapped. And I could hear Cal, every time the catcher would put a sign down throughout the year, he'd be going, no! Or, you know, if it was a pitch he didn't think they should be throwing at that right. time. So we're four out. Bosman comes out, says his whatever to Ben McDonald and goes back. And I'm ben walking McDonald's. back to second. He yeah. was Ben McDonald's pitching. Yeah. So I walk back to second, and uh, you, uh, you, Chris you, Hoyles goes back to. This is in Baltimore. Yeah, in 93. Correct. 93. So I you're playing 94. for the Orioles at yes. the time, right? Okay, and that's why so, they wanted to feature on you because they, you know, you're yeah, Mr. Southern California think, too. That's yeah, it. So, okay. So I'm playing with the O's. This is 93, actually, but mm-hmm. that's a good story. So okay. Forget good enough. the facts. It's alternate facts. Sure. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so Cal mm-hmm. uh, comes to the mound. We're all at the mound, and we're going back, and I hear this whistle. And I turn around. Cal's at the mound with Ben McDonald, the pitcher. Mm-hmm. Hoyles, our catcher's gone back. I come out to the mound. We come back up there, and Cal goes, I'm calling all the pitches. Fastball, curveball, split. So the head was fastball, chest was curved. And the legs were split. Cal standing there at he shortstop stand, was touching those. So we go back to our positions. And we're looking at Cal. Instead of looking at the catcher and the pitcher, Mm -hmm. we're looking at Cal. Hoyles is in his crouch looking out at short. I'm at second looking at Cal. Third base was looking at Cal. And he's giving the pitches. How'd it work out? It worked out pretty good. (laughs) So the next year, the year you're talking about, 94, is what I thought about all this. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm playing for the Angels. Okay, now we're right. And uh, we're playing against Baltimore. And I strike out the end of the inning. And I'm going to my position. And Cal jogs by and goes, who do you think called that pitch? (laughs) Pretty good. Pretty good. That's stuff. what he says to you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who do you think called that pitch? Do you think Cal could manage? Oh, no doubt. Baseball? No doubt. So why doesn't he get in a shot here? Because he well, definitely wants one, doesn't he? I think recently he's talked about wanting to do it. With the Nationals? They yeah. went Dusty Baker instead, but they didn't even knock on his door, I don't think. Well, yeah, I don't know how legit it was. Um, I know he wanted to own a team first, and that okay. was kind of his plan. I think he hung around hoping he might get the Orioles. But Peter Angelos isn't going anywhere yet, you know, so. Um, and then the next option would be, be managing. But he'd be great, no doubt about it. Well, if the if the Marlins are worth $1.6 I would suggest Cal get into managing. <laughs> yes. You're not kidding. You're not kidding. Or have some really good friends. You can throw in some money. You're making a lot of that. I've got, hold cash. on, I haven't hit the ATM in a couple days. There you go. Uh, but whatever I got on me, I'll, I'll, I'll chip in. in from a very minority stake. <laughs> the Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.